Good morning, everybody. I'm just getting ready to make some um, banana nut muffins. This is a new recipe that I'm using from a new cookbook that I um, recently bought, and I bought it a little while ago, and I just, it's been so busy here, I haven't had time to make anything out of it, so I thought this morning I would make some banana nut muffins. I have my helper. Um, so for this recipe, um, you, need, you need flour, cinnamon, um, salt, baking powder, baking soda, sugar, vanilla, um, your mashed bananas. I had these ones in the freezer, so I just had them fine there. A half a cup of butter. I have another mashed banana here. Um, the recipe calls for three, I believe. And then we need some more ingredients for the topping, which I didn't get out yet, but we'll, um, we'll get to that once the, once we get to that step. Um, Ben was up at the neighbor's and he came home to bring me this. He ran all the way home to give me that. Um, anyway, so we're just going to get started with making these. So first we're going to start with one and a half cups of flour. Um, we have two bowls here because we have to mix our dry ingredients in one bowl and then um, our wet ingredients in the other. So in our bowl we have one and a half cups of flour. Audrey's going to add in a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. One teaspoon of baking powder. So we're using our half, so we have two, two Audrey. One teaspoon of baking soda. And a yeah. quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Oh, oh. So I'm just going to gently give that a little stir for us. I actually switched this into my small bowl. It says to put the dry ingredients in a small bowl and our wet ingredients are going to go in the bigger bowl. Really good chef. <laughs> so in our bigger bowl, we're going to put our three mashed bananas. So you could dump those in there, Audrey. Yep. That one in. Yep. We need to mash it. Up. I don't know if these ones are quite going to mash. Okay, so next we're going to add two-thirds of a cup of white sugar. So that's one-third. Dave is putting together a new um, wicker chest that I bought for the living room, if you can hear him doing that in the living room. Okay, so two-thirds of a cup of sugar. We're going to do one egg. So I'll drop it in here, Audrey, and you can... One teaspoon of vanilla and a half a cup of melted butter. I already have my melted. Do you want to drop that in? Okay, hold it right over the bowl. We'll get this spatula. Okay, my battery died there, but we had added our cup of butter. So Andrew's going to give that a mix. Just be careful, Andrew. It might be. It's probably going to be hard to mix with that actually here. When we're done, I'm kind of like something. I'm a lick. This is way more easier. I'm gonna mush the eggy milk. So we've mixed ours up, and we're just going to add the dry ingredients to our wet ingredients. Do you want to help spoon, spoon them in? Yeah, and it says to mix just until combined. That looks delicious. It does. I have the oven preheating to 350 degrees, so I'm just going to get my um, muffin pan out and our liners, and we'll get them in the oven. So I'm just using my cookie scoop. I'm going to start with a scoop in each one. Audrey has the most important job. <laughs> Are 
Okay, so I have my muffins all in my tin. I'm working on, um, there's actually a topping that goes on these now. So in this bowl, I have a third of a cup of brown sugar, and then it calls for two tablespoons of flour. Two tablespoons of butter. I have a new helper now. Ben just came back from playing at the neighbors. Audrey's going to get dressed and go up and play. Okay, so I added two tablespoons of butter. That might be a little bit more. I didn't measure it. I'm going to cost for two tablespoons of oats. So there's one, Ben. A little sprinkle more. A half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Did I put the cinnamon away? A half a teaspoon of cinnamon and a third of a cup of um, chopped pecans. So I think these are going to be really good. I can't wait to try one. Okay, then you can put those in. What are these? these those are peca pecans. Okay, then we're going to mix all this together. I might actually mix it with my hands because the butter is a little bit cold. All right, both my helpers left. So there's our topping. And you're just going to sprinkle that on top of the muffins. Oh, I can't wait to try these. They're going to be so good. So you're just going to put some of that on each top of, on the top of each one. So that's how they're looking. Um, so I'm going to put these in the oven at 350 degrees for, it says 20 to 25 minutes. So I'm going to start mine at 20 minutes and then I'll check them at the 20 minute mark and see if they're done. So the muffins are done. There they are. I baked mine for 20 minutes and when I checked them they were done. So they're looking good, they're smelling good, and I am anxious to try one. So I will let you know how they are when we taste them, but they're looking really good. All right, the verdict is in on the muffins. How are they, Ben? Really good. Are they? Did you like the muffins? Really good. Emily wants one A. Eh? Okay, so Andrew's asking for another one, so safe to say they are a big hit. I'll try and remember to include the recipe in the description box, um, but I'll be definitely be making these ones again. I'm just making some hamburger soup for supper. Um, it's I'm kind of pressed for time here. It's 2.38. The kids are going to be home in probably 10 or 15 minutes, so I'm trying to throw this together super fast. Um, I had some leftover ground beef from last night's supper. We had shepherd's pie, and I'm sure you guys are in the same boat where we're trying to stretch our meat and stretch our meals and stretch our money. Um, anyway, I've been trying to divide like my packages of meat into two meals if I can. So last night we had the shepherd's pie and that we had that for supper and then Dave and Ben were both able to take that in their lunches today. So, so that was a good stretch on that half of the ground beef. Um, but this other half, um, I'm making hamburger soup like I just said. So I am here, I have my ground beef that was already cooked. I threw some garlic in there and I'm just going to add my chopped onion, some potatoes I have some a can of diced tomatoes that I'm going to add I might add some chicken broth um, this is just such a quick and um, hearty supper I'm not going to have time to make rolls or anything um, because it's just too late but if me and the kids go out um, that's why I kind of wanted to have supper made so that maybe we could go for a walk or we might go and visit my mom for a little bit um, 
and I might stop at the store and get some buns. But anyway, I'm just throwing this together super fast, so I just thought that I would share it with you. So I just threw my onion in there. I'm gonna like that, that get sauteing for a little bit. So I added my diced tomatoes and I'm just looking in my fridge. I have some leftover chili that I had taken out of the freezer um, last week. Um, it definitely needs to be eaten up. So I'm just debating whether to throw it in the soup or not. Um, I was just going to mix up some chicken broth. So I'm just trying to decide. Um, but I'm thinking that I might. Okay, so I added the chili in there, so it's definitely more meaty than I thought. I'm going to add the chicken broth too, though, because it's just a little too thick. Normally, I would add beef, beef broth, but um, I don't have that, so I'm just going to add the chicken broth. And um, I'm going to add my potatoes, some frozen vegetables. Hopefully, you can hear me over Emily. So I'm just using um, this here um, chicken stock, and I'm just mixing it in, this, in my tomato can rather than dirtying a new dish. Yeah, every time I talk, she says, Mama. I should have used a fork. Hi. Mama, hi. So I'm just going to add that in there, and I'm literally just throwing everything in. I'm not measuring, um, but this is a really good soup. <laughs> I'm going to have to give her another cracker. You're not going to be able to hear me. Um, this is a really good soup that everybody likes. It's so easy, especially today where I just had back and beef all cooked. Um, I'm going to add frozen vegetables, just frozen mixed vegetables. I'm going to add my potatoes. I'm just going to dump it all in and I'm going to let it um, simmer on the stove here. Give my potatoes time to cook. I'm going to add some spices. I might need to add a little bit more liquid. Adding the chili really um, really thickened it up. Okay, so I'm adding some mixed vegetables. Ah! Well, <laughs> so something went down the floor. That's what happens when you're trying to do things while you're trying to hold a camera, I guess. All right, let's try that again. Add some mixed vegetables. I was trying to show you the bag is what I was trying to do. Just your regular mixed vegetables. Get those in there, and I'm just going to get this to a boil and see if I need more liquid. I'm going to add salt, pepper. Um, I think it is going to need more liquid. It's, it's pretty thick. But it came together so fast. It's 2.46. I don't know what time I started, but it was literally like probably 10 minutes. Excuse my voice. I am I feel like in every video I record lately, somebody is sick or... Tis the season, I guess. Um, anyway, I'm just going to put the lid on that for a minute and let that boil. And um, I'm going to take a couple of minutes and tidy up here before the kids get home. And um, I'll be back. So my soup is um, done here. I'm just going to add a little bit of oregano. I've added some salt and pepper, but I don't find it really needs a whole lot. Um, I think because of the uh, chili being in there because I already seasoned all the chili. So I did add salt and pepper. Did I already say that? I think I did. So I'm just going to add that in there, and I may add a little bit of garlic powder. Um, but I'm just it's just been simmering on the stove. Such a quick and easy soup. Um, the kids and I didn't end up going out by the time they got home and got started on their homework and stuff. It was just getting late, so I'm going to just make some biscuits to go with our soup. So I'm actually going to preheat the oven to 450 degrees to get started on those. So I'm just getting started on my biscuits. Um, so in my bowl here, I have two cups of flour, two teaspoons of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, and I'm just about to add four teaspoons of baking powder. I need a half a teaspoon of cream of tartar. This so will have a teaspoon of cream of tartar, <clears throat> excuse me, and a half a cup of cold butter. Mine's just been sitting here. 
this is just what's left in that um, block, so I'm just going to, I think it's pretty well a half a cup. So I'm going to just chop that up. And I'm going to mix this up with my hands until it is um, crumbly, and then I'm going to add one cup of milk, trying to cut it up smaller so it's easier to mix. Um, and I have my oven preheating to 450 degrees. We're going to cook my 450 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm going to pause the camera before my hands get awful of dough. Um, but I'm going to mix this up with my hands until it's crumbly and then add one cup of milk. So I'll be back. So I have all my dough mixed up and I actually decided, um, I was talking to my mom on the phone earlier and she suggested that I sour my milk um, for the D biscuits and it makes it, them good so I have a cup of milk in my measuring cup and a tablespoon of vinegar and I just let that sit for five minutes so I'm gonna mix that in there and I'm gonna mix it with my fork and we're just gonna mix these up and um, roll them out on um, in some flour here so there's my dough it's very sticky I am going to, I'm not even going to use a rolling pin for this. So I'm going to just kind of roll this in my flour and pat it out with my hands. I'm leaving them quite thick. Ben took Emily outside to play. I asked him, she was getting into everything in here, and we asked him, would he take her outside on the um, on the swing or on the trampoline? So he took her out, and it's just so cute watching her take his hand and her waving goodbye to me. So I have that there, and, and I'm just going to use, can I close the glass? A glass cut them out and I don't know if you can see if I do it over there I just kind of pinch mine like this I don't know if you can see but I'll kind of pinch them and kind of squish them to make them yeah you know, a little bit taller So there's my biscuits all ready for the oven. So I'm going to put these in the oven at 450 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to set mine for 10 and um, I'll check them at 10 minutes. So there is supper for tonight. We have nice hot biscuits and some nice homemade soup. I just tried a biscuit and they are delicious. So that is going to be supper for tonight. Are you hungry? That's your spot, isn't it? That's your spoon. Put it back on the table. Smart girl. So me and Audrey are getting ready to make some cookies. We I picked these um, these chippets, Reese's peanut butter chips, up at Walmart, and I've been nibbling on them. So I thought that we would make some cookies with them. So we thought that we would share the recipe with you. It's just the recipe that's on the pack on the back of the um, the package. Do you want to say hi, Audrey? Emily's digging in a cupboard here beside us. Emily, what are you getting? Emma. Oh my goodness, okay. Emily's trying to get out the blender. Um, but you need flour. Eggs. Yeah, two eggs, vanilla, um, cocoa powder, salt, sugar. baking soda, lots of sugar, um, the peanut butter chippets, and a one and a quarter cup of butter. What? Who's making, making all the noise? Emily. Yes, yeah, she is. <laughs> Just leave it behind. You're going to put it back? She's a busy little girl. Good job. So, what are we putting at first? The eggs? Oh, no. I melted the butter a little too much. Oops. Okay, just leave it there for one second. I'll do see what goes in there first. That was good. Okay. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Two and a third cups of flour. Okay, Audrey, we need our measuring cups. 
So we need two and one thirds of a cup of flour. I was thinking afterwards I probably could have halved this recipe and um, I wouldn't have had to use so much butter and everything. No, not the butter yet, Audrey. Um, I need to go hunt down some measuring cups because Emily took all mine out of the drawer. Okay, I can't find any of my measuring spoons, so we're going to have to measure in this. So, anyway, okay, there, Audrey, that's another a one-third. So, two one-thirds cup of flour. Okay, three-quarters of a cup of um, cocoa powder. I hope the lighting is okay here. I feel like when I turn this light on, it's... I feel like it's, it's um, better like that. Could I, should I mix it? Just hang on. Audrey is anxious to mix and lick. Um... One teaspoon of baking soda. Okay. Mm. Teaspoon of that. Baking soda. And then next egg. Or mix. And half half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, now you can take that fork, Audrey, and you can mix it mix it carefully so it doesn't um, come out of the bowl. Can you smell like chocolate, Mommy? What? Can you smell the chocolate? Can you smell the chocolate? Mm -hmm. You don't like chocolate, do you? I love it. What? I love it. All right, in this bowl, we're going to do a one ooh, and a quarter cups of butter that I, it says softened. I just want to grab the spatula and we'll scrape the butter off the plate. Do you know what the spatula is? Okay, here, you hold this plate. Hi, everybody. Oh. Hi, everybody. Come on. Come on. I'm just going to scrape that up. Okay, that can go in the dishwasher. Dishwasher? Yep. Okay, and then this recipe calls for two cups of sugar, and that for me is just too much sugar. So we're using a quarter of a cup, so we're going to have to do eight of these, Audrey. I might have to try and uh, one, two, three, oh, four, five, oh my goodness. Six, seven. seven. I think we're. I think we're just gonna go with seven and a smidge. That is way too much sugar for me. I'll make them and we'll see how they are. But that is just too much sugar. But I suppose, like I said, if I had of half the recipe, it says and it makes four dozen. So. What do we do? The egg. Next, no. I think we have to. Okay, we have to get out our mixer. So we're going to mix until fluffy, it says. We're going to add two eggs. Can I crack? Yeah, I'll crack them in here. And then you can dump them in. You dump it in very carefully. There's one. Bye, chicken. And two teaspoons of vanilla. I'll measure out the vanilla so that you can. They're delicious. Okay, and then we have to mix again. All right, so we were supposed to add our a dry ingredients to our wet, but I mine was in too small of a ball, and I knew I wouldn't have been able to mix it like that. Oh, can you even see? So anyway, I just added my wet to my dry. So we're gonna get, it says mix this well, so we're gonna get this mixed up. Okay, I got that all mixed up, but if I had have realized or I had have known it was gonna make so much better, I definitely would have used my KitchenAid. That was really hard to mix with the mixer. And my mixer is smelling really weird after mixing those cookies up. Somebody here. Hold on now. 
has been waiting and waiting to lick something. I was mixing it. She said, can you call me back when I can lick something? So here. No, just one. Want that one? You want to ask Jacob or Ben if they want one? I was always going to lick her beater, so I'm going to add in my chippets and get this mixed up. I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. Sorry, but there's a lot of shadows over the bowl here. It is um, it's quarter to seven and it gets dark so early now. So after trying the a piece of the um, batter with the um, the Reese's chippets in it, I think the cookies are going to be really good. They do taste really good. Um, it says to bake them at 350. I'm using my cookie scoop. And it says to um, scoop them out by the tablespoon and cook them at 350 degrees for eight to nine minutes. So I'm just gonna get them on my cookie sheet. I lost my helper. They're all in licking the beaters. How was it, Ben? Good. That's good. In the sink. And then I have Emily. Who? Well, what are you into now? She's so funny. She goes over to the Google and she can hear her say, "Hey Google, play." And then she doesn't know what to say after that. So funny though, listening to listening to her, um, you know, when I can tell what she's trying to say. Anyway, I'm going to get my cookies Mommy, out of my tray. Mom. What? Mommy. And um, get them in the oven. Ah. How was it? Good. <laughs> Delicious? Let me see your face. <laughs> your face says that it was delicious. So I just wanted to show you these cookies because I am about to share the rest with the kids. Ben and Audrey just have two each. Me and Jacob are going to have two. These cookies were a huge hit. They were really good. I put some in the freezer so that we wouldn't just go and eat them all. Dave took some of his lunch. Jacob, would you like two? Yeah. They're really good, aren't they? Do you find they taste like peanut butter cups? Yeah. I do. So anyway, I just wanted to share with you that they were um, really, really good. So I am going to have mine with my coffee. So I am going to end this video here. I hope you enjoyed seeing just a little bit of what I've been baking and cooking this past little while. Um, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more from our family or more videos like this, um, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.